it's Sandra and by surprise I got my Manny by Me box for July. I'm so surprised to get it this early. I think it's the 30th of June today and um, which is a Thursday and so I'm so happy that I got it early so that I can show you. All right so this is July's and if you've seen this um, online at all Sorry, I'm trying to get around here. It is a summer camping box is what it is. And so as usual, we have the two postcards. This one tells you about the, um, the stamping polish that's in there. We have Canteen, which is a green polish, and Chocolate Brown, which is um, Shimmering Shellfish Finish. Shimmering Shell Finish. So those are the two polishes. And this is an idea that Manny by that Manny Allergy has given you for in, for inspiration. And on the back, of course, is um, the directions on how to do it. So we have those two cards. And if you're unfamiliar with Manny by Me, the monthly prescription, it is twenty five dollars a month, and you get um, two plates, you get a free gift, and you get two stamping polishes. If you're tired of stamping polishes and you got too many of those already. You can get the Express Kit, which has everything but the stamping polish in it. So let's take this out and see what we have. Put that down there. All right, so it comes in this cool tissue paper. And let's see. Pull this all out. Alright, so we have a little pamphlet that tells us how to stamp. We've got, you want to look through that if you have any issues. They've given us a sticker which says, Snailed It. Very cute sticker. And we have our two plates and we have the free gift. Now this free gift is a sticky stamper pad, I believe. And they're actually kind of nice. I, I got one in one of the other boxes and I had never ordered one so it was kind of nice because you can definitely use it to get the polish off your stamper but you can also do some designs on here so this is really cute it's let's go camping so that's really cute all right so we got that and then let's open up the two polishes and see what those look like and then we'll go right to the plates and I always have a hard time trying to get this the polish out of the box. I don't know why it gives me a hard time, but it does. And by the way, I did do my nails yesterday and they turned out really cute. Um, they are obviously patriotic for the 4th of July and I do love doing patriotic nails. So that was fun to do. Okay, so let's look at these, see what we have. And here are the two polishes. And if you can see, actually they both kind of look like they're shimmery. The green has some yellow in it, and then the brown just kind of looks like shimmer. So again, this one is called S'more B479, and this green one is called Canteen B478. So those are the two stamping polishes. Okay, so we're gonna try those. Let's take a look-see at the plates. And here is M108, and we have M107. So here are the two plates. And Manny Ology did come out with a stamping plate. If you haven't seen it, it is a great, um, uh, great uh, third plate that you could use with these. And it is M101. And I'm going to zoom in on this, and it is very dirty. Let me wipe it off a little bit. But this plate was really cute too. And I've got a little glare here. Let's see if we can get rid of the glare. There we go. Um, because it has the, um, I like the little fire on this one. I like this camper. Here's the fire. And I like this little camper here. So um, this will be really complimentary to these new plates. So let me clean this off. And if you don't have this one, and you're interested, like I said, it's M101. So there you go. So that's an old plate. So now let's look at the new plates. All right, so on this new plate, we have 
some interesting stuff. We have some mountains here, Rocky Mountain it says, and some more with a road here. And we've actually got a couple campers and they kind of look like, this one looks like the one that's on their other plate. A little different. Then we've got a fish pool. That's really cute. Uh, looks like it says Yos Yos Yosemite um, National Park. And it's got the mountains. And then we've got Yellowstone National Park. And then we've got a whole bunch of, it almost looks like a little campground. It's got all different things in here, like the trees and the little tents. And here's a moose. And um, here's a um, van, a VW van. And um, some trees. And we've got um, north, south, east, and west here. A waterfall. So we've got all kinds of little goodies in here that you could pick up. Um, here's a buffalo and elk and I think that's a bear. So very cute. Okay so that's M107. So there's a lot of cool images and like I said I think the plate that they had come out with before would be really nice with this stuff. Okay and then the second plate which is MXM108. Oh let's do this one without the let me take the, the um, plastic wrap off of here. First I have to find my handy dandy tweezers. Let's take this paper off so you can see it good. There you go. So it's got a lot of stuff in there that you could definitely use. I really like this, um, the fish pool. I think that's cute. And I do like these campers. And then the compass, that's really cute too. We've gotten some compasses, I think, on the pirate one or I can't remember some of the summer ones. But it's cool to have a compass. All right, and then this one we've got is the M108. And we've got a bunch of full nails here. And it looks like we got some s'mores down here, a little raccoon, and some bear tracks. And it says better in the mountain. It says let's go camping. It's like a backpack. And here's a little map. And they have a fire here with marshmallows. And a cute little um, camper again. It says s'mores and campfire. Then we've got kind of a landscape here with a tent. And then some typical camping signs. And here's Sasquatch, which is really cool too. I think that's cool in the trees. And that's actually what they used on um, the um, example that they did. And then we've got some more signs here and some more signs here, like badges or something. Very cute. And then we've got, like I said, the, the signs here. Oh, and here's a little pot over fire. Let's look, was it a mountain lion or a coyote or something here? All right, so let's take this off. Let's see what this is. So there you go. So I'm kind of excited to see um, how these polishes turn out. I don't, you know, brown and green, I don't know that, so brown could definitely be the ground and green could be the trees and stuff. Um, but I don't know if I would have picked different colors for this. They're kind of cool colors, and I use a lot of brown. I'm always surprised that I use brown all the time, but I do. I use a lot of brown. So any color they send us is always, I always end up using. So I would imagine it gets very hard to come up with different colors um, and themes. I, I would not want to be the person in charge of that. So there you go. So those are the two plates, and then we're going to do some stamping here. Let me pull this up a little. And we'll do the stamping and we'll use this plate and we'll do, we'll just do one of these full images here. And let's do the green one. Got to get a stamper and a scraper. Just put some on there.
Okay, so that looks nice. It's got, definitely does not show up very well on the black side, but the white, it's perfect. It's a nice stamping polish. It um, does have, st it still has, it has a little shimmer to it. So it's very pretty. And I would say it's um, like a dark green. It kind of looks like teal, but it's, I think it's more of a dark green, like an evergreen. Okay, so there's the number one. And then the second one, we'll use the other plate. And let's do the little fish pond here. See how that looks. Fish pool, sorry, fish pool. And as usual with Manny Ology, you don't have to worry about the image coming off right because every line with Manny Ology usually comes out nice. Okay, so there's the fish. We're gonna put that on here. Oh, it didn't stick. All right, so let's try it again. Let's do a thicker image, something that will have more polish on it so we can get a good stick here. Let's do the mountains. Let's just do these mountains right here. Rocky Mountain National Park. Okay, so there we go. Put this on here. Okay, so there you go. So that you can see, again, doesn't show up very well on the black, but does on the white. And it's got a shimmer to it. Definitely got a shimmer to it also. So those are the two colors. And um, these are the two plates. And I'll put these here again. So you can see it if you're into camping or I just think these are nice summer plate plates. You can do a lot of different things with these because they've got so much stuff on it, especially if you get the other um, camping plate if you don't already have it. But you know, it's got a lot of similar um, things on the camping plate. So let's look. So the original camping plate has a VW, um, um, whatchamacallit, van like, and they do have like a camper and they've got lots of trees. And they've got mountains and a tent and they have a fire pit and this one has a fire too and this one's got some arrows and it's got um, some food like a barbecue and actually does have s'mores on there so um, or marshmallows so if you did not get the um, this 101 it looks like you've got enough on here that you know um, you have most of it, but there are some unique things on this one. We got an eagle on this one too. So anyway, just keep it in mind. Um, but I think that it looks really nice is coordinated with this. So anyway, all right. So the next thing I'm going to do is come up with some kind of manicure and I'll be right back. Okay. So I painted my nails and what I did was I painted one brown, which was from the box, one green, which was from the box, and I painted the other three blue. And the blue that I used is called Blue Blitz 413, and it's actually Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. Then what I did was I took the Black Magic um, stamping polish. I'm looking for it right now. Uh, it's called Black Magic. Here it is. And this is from Maniology, and it's B293, and I love this as a layered look. So I did that. I stamped on two of the blue ones, and what I did was I all I did was use the actual, um, these large patterns. So one of them is this one, one of them is this one as background. Okay, so what I want to do is, and I'm probably going to have to use some sticky base coat or some of the smudge free top coat and I'm going to put some on here so I can stick some stuff on these nails so I'm going to do the brown one and the blue and the green one let that dry a little bit and what I'm going to put on those is 
I'm going to put on the green one. I actually painted one of the um, mountains on here. And this one is, where is it? This one right here on this image, it's on M017, 107, I'm sorry. And it's this up here. And what I wanna do is, I'm actually gonna put some words on after I get it stamped on there, but I couldn't get the words and the mountains lined up right, so I'm going to do them separate. Okay, so here's the green. And what I wanna do is I wanna put, I do wanna get the sun on there. And I do kind of want to get the road on there. So I'm going to kind of tilt it this way. And put it on. There we go. And then what I thought I'd do is actually put the um, words that was on the plate, which is the mountain. And I'm going to do that in white. I have my white out. Don't see my white. And I'm just going to get that on here. The mountain. Okay. Very tiny. Didn't do a very good job. Let me try it one more time. It's um, like I scraped it too hard. So I'm gonna do it again. Get a better, more opaque look here. God, I hate this. I always put my, my stamping polish down and then I don't remember where I put it. Okay, so here it is. Put it on again. Lightly scrape, lightly stamp, and that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna take off this stuff. So it's the mountain. Okay. I'm gonna put that on this green nail right at the top. Hmm, it's awfully long for this, so I'm just gonna put mountain on here and the at the top. And I didn't get all of this, this little N on here. Okay. So I kind of, the um, end didn't come off, so I, or came off, so I put that on there and I kind of got it into the sun. So there's number one. This is the mountain. Put that back. Now for the brown nail, what I'd like to do is I reversed painted, um, where did I, right here. I reversed painted the little fire with the marshmallows. And I'm going to put that one on here, on the brown one. All right, so there's the little fire with the marshmallows. That one's cute. Then I'm going to, on these, I'm going to put some smudge-free top coat on there. And I actually will put it on the other ones too that I just finished. So we'll do it on the mountain. We'll do it on the fire. Very cute. Okay. And then we're going to do it on this one. I'm going to let that dry. I'll do it on this one. That one dry a little bit. Might as well do it on the solid one too. And let that dry a little bit. Okay, so I did... Um, 
I reverse painted those and I also reverse painted here is the backpack let me put this in a little bit and I'll flip this over there's a little backpack and then I did this little um, VW um, what would you call this van VW van and there's the VW van and I also did this little camper and I thought that was a cool color for it and it says one campsite at a time so those are the images I also reverse painted so everything on I did this time was actually reverse painted which is highly unusual because I usually don't like to reverse paint everything but this time I did okay so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do the little backpack and I'm going to do that on this one. Okay, there's the little backpack. And then on this one I'm going to do the little van, VW van. And then on the solid blue one, I'm going to put my little camper. Do this one. That's really cute too. Very, very cute. So I love all of them. I think they all turned out good. Um, I did have a hard time uh, using these dark colors with, um, you know, trying to reverse stamp and having things showed up because I do like um, a lot of contrast when I do nails. So you can see by my nails that, I mean, I just, I like the contrast so you can really see what it is. But I think this turned out, overall, it turned out very cute. I really like everything on it. This is a little dark, so it kind of have to get close. I think the marshmallow is kind of bringing in because it's white. Um, I think this mountain one turned out great. And then I've got um, these other two, the two that have the background turned out good. You can, those really pop with the background. I just thought there wasn't enough in there in the picture. So I wanted to put a background with them. So let me put some smudge-free top coat on these. And I love how the smudge-free top coat just really makes everything pop out. So there you go. And that's it. So that is my camping uh, manicure. And I hope you liked it. And thanks for watching. <laughs>